Scorpio, welcome back to Shacy Tarot and happy birthday. I hope you're all doing amazing. Welcome to our Shacy spiritual family. For those of you that are brand new and for those of you returning, thank you for your continued undying support. You have all been amazing. I am also a Scorpio, so welcome and happy birthday. Now we need to sing our happy birthday song, of course, and I hope all of you are going to celebrate however it is, is you wish to do so. And I hope you're spoiled rotten because, well, we deserve it, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Okay, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scorpios. Happy birthday to us. <laughs> I hope it's amazing, truly. All right, let's start digging in. For those of you that are brand new, welcome. This is how we do it. Yeah, we like to dig, we're Scorpios, so hello. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. Absolutely, we could not do this without any of you. I'm using the Angel Tarot for our general energy, so to get an overall picture of what's going on, this can definitely resonate from your perspective or whomever is watching. Um, for your sun sign okay so it can be a brother a mother a father a child a lover uh, a crush an ex I'm also going to get your energy on the traditional tarot see who's coming towards you what are their intentions towards you and I'm gonna get your person's energy here now that can be somebody you haven't met yet it can be a crush again a lover an ex whomever sometimes we can get triple clarifications double clarifications it's amazing to see it happen for the mutual energies between you and whoever is on your mind or who's coming towards you in the future I'm gonna use our exclusive Shacy prism tarot deck this is available on our website at Shacy.com if you're interested okay um, really simple and easy to use. Let's get started. I'm as anxious as you are. Don't forget to sub hit subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hit the like button. It's absolutely free as well. It helps to support the channel for free. Um, that's your way of supporting us for free. That would be amazing and very much appreciated, especially if this is resonating with you and you're getting something out of these messages. Okay, let's see what's going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know for our highest good? What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we need to know for November 2020? So even though I'm giving you these messages now from Spirit, doesn't mean this is necessarily happening now or even a month from now. It could happen three months, six months, 12 months. I've had things happen all the way up to me a year from now. So keep that in mind. That's how Tarot works. For some of you, this may have already have happened, okay? can definitely play out again from your person's perspective if there's somebody on your mind what does Scorpio need to know for their highest good please angels and spirits for November okay in the extended for those of you that are not familiar familiar I can't talk today a cat's got my tongue I guess um, I will continue this reading over on another platform it's usually 20 plus minutes Okay, so if this resonates for you, you may want to take advantage of that because it's definitely a lot less expensive than a personal reading. But if this resonates for you, that may be all you wish to do. Wow. Ooh, are you the Queen of Wands? This is Queen of Action. Okay, it's a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart's open. You're being asked to do many things at once and you won't mind as long as you know that you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving and intelligent and passionate and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. So if you're going through a difficult situation, um, you're very good, Scorpio, at taking the action on whatever it is when you need it. Um, you know, and that's how us Scorpios are. Like... You know, it's like we don't back down. Like if we know that there's something we need to take action on, we do it without even a thought. It's like, okay, I got to do it. We don't even question it. We just like, we got to do it. We're going to do it. End of story. Uh, but this can also be somebody definitely around you, viewing you this way, that you are very action orientated, that you're passionate, that you're driven, that you're a leader type of person. But this can also be whomever you're dealing with. So let's clarify the queen of wands. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Somebody's, you know, feeling a sense of heartbreak here. Okay, so we're going to find out why. But the universe wants you to know loving angels are surrounding you to heal and comfort you during this time. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace this fu the future with joy. So you may feel that or your person, whoever again you're dealing with, 
uh, you know, needs to take action, but it's, it's something that's going to cause heartbreak. So you or somebody knows that they need to take action, take a leadership in something, but it's going to cause some kind of heartbreak here, I feel. You or somebody that you're thinking about. Let's keep going. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Now, sometimes a Queen of Wands can mean the other person, the other woman, the other man in your life. Um, that there are threes a crowd for some of you, not all of you. For some of you, this can just be, it's an overall heartbreaking decision. But the Queen of Wands can represent that other person, um, but not necessarily. Again, it's about heartbreak and having to take the action, knowing it's going to cause heartbreak because it's something that you have to or need to do. Okay, let's find out why. Could involve a Taurus, Capricorn, a Virgo. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative makes you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. Situation involves a person possibly who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. The queen of pentacles is somebody who is a very... Um, Grounded, very stable, normally, very committed, very traditional type of person, okay? Now, I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to clarify a lot deeper. We've got two queens here, one of wands and one of um, pentacles. And neither one of those are your energy necessarily, but we can all take on the energy of fire, earth, air, and water, okay? So this is somebody who could be in a commitment We're going to need to dig Scorpio. I don't like to say too much until we dig. You know me. For those of you that know me, there's two queens here. It can be that somebody, you, is making a decision about a fire sign and an earth sign in the near future, and it's going to break your heart. You may have a heartbreaking decision to make between a fire sign and an earth sign here later. Or this could be the same person, and they're making a decision. Tower. Okay, so there could be a tower moment between a fire sign and an earth sign. Scorpio. Out with the old and in with the new. Something's going to happen. That's your energy, Scorpio, right here. You may have to make a heartbreaking decision between two or somebody around you is having to make a heartbreaking decision over two. Or somebody's taking on the energy of both earth and fire. Earth and fire again. I just realized earth and fire again, Scorpio. This may be the same person, somebody who's grounded but it's taking action. And it's, uh, it's, it's something that's heartbreaking for them. This is not your energy, I don't feel. Okay, so heaven is showing you a sign that there's time to move in a new direction. Often it's because you're not happy and feel lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires of spiritual truth. Somebody is being guided toward their spiritual growth here. Okay, um, it's causing heartbreak here. There is a decision, a choice that has to be made, and it's a heartbreaking one here. But it's going to happen out of the blue. It's going to cause some heartbreak. But somebody's feeling the need here to take action. It's either a fire sign and an earth sign, or this person has fire and earth in their chart, and they're ready to take action, Scorpio. I don't feel this is you, but it could be. You could be taking on the, the uh, energy of fire and earth of saying, I've had enough, that's it, I'm taking action. Okay. Causes a tower moment, causes heartbreak for you, for whomever is involved, because you're deciding out with the old, in with the new. It definitely could be you. Or you could have a fire and earth sign around you, okay? Devil, Capricorn, something that's been toxic. Somebody's choosing freedom. Somebody's choosing their spiritual growth. Somebody's choosing to free themselves, okay? From a toxic or unhealthy situation can be a codependent situation. Um, that can be... This is, you know, sometimes represents a commitment, a marriage, or a foundation that's no longer working. And this is somebody choosing their freedom now, choosing their spiritual growth. It's going to cause heartbreak. Sometimes you may feel that your way is blocked and it's just an illusion. You can free yourself from obstacles that you're focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. So this is somebody... You know, saying, okay, I need to take the action. I know it's going to cause heartbreak, but this situation I'm in is toxic. It's so not working. It's unhealthy for me. And I'm going to break free from it. This is somebody that's going to choose to to um, walk away. And here we go. Absolutely. This is so crystal clear. It's like, I'm not happy here. I feel very disappointed in this commitment, this marriage, this relationship, this situation. 
I need to just stop focusing on the past and start to take action on my future. There's no more growth here. I'm feeling the calling to move on here. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so everyone can move forward. So this is a, a thing of, you know, I need to move forward if I keep focusing on the past and grieving and don't allow myself to forgive myself or the disappointment in others, then I won't be able to move on. Okay, so the universe is saying, ask your angels for guidance in order to be able to move on so you can get through this quickly and get back on the path to happiness. And the only way you can do that is to turn around and realize that there is a new direction for you and to stop focusing on the disappointment. You or whomever is on your mind, Scorpio. This is water energy here. But again, I feel like somebody's basically, it's, it's about the uh, energy here. And somebody's choosing to move away from a path that has been destructive that has been disappointing, that has been toxic for them and moving forward. Um, so the universe is saying, we will guide you if you ask for our help here and bring you back to the path of joy and release and forgive yourself or others who have uh, made you feel this way or you've made each other feel that way, right? Six of action, see? Yeah, we are moving forward successfully, okay? We are choosing to move forward successfully and we will be successful. So no matter what, Scorpio, you're moving forward with success and victory and happiness here. So a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, uh, promotions or other recognition for your e efforts. Well done. If someone you can help offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent. So if somebody offers you guidance or assistance or you feel like you are being spiritually led, that's because you are. Listen to your intuition. This is about moving forward with success and victory and real Realizing that you deserve the success and victory here okay it's it's I'm not happy here anymore there's disappointment it's not healthy anymore and I know I need to grow I'm, I'm being you know I'm being guided to grow here and this will allow me to grow it's gonna cause heartbreak I feel bad about it I feel bad about how things are turning out but I have to move forward I have I've got to move forward that is awesome. Yeah, baby. That's what we want to see. Scorpio. This is you or your person, whoever you're thinking about. Again, there is fire and earth here a lot, but there is also water energy as well um, and more earth. We've got um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio. Uh, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay, let's get your energy and whoever is surrounding you. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November, please? 2020, who's coming toward them? What action will they take? Please, angels and spirits, what are their intentions towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do they need to know for their birthday? What are the new messages for their birthday month, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, who's coming towards them? What are their intentions? What do they need to know for their highest good? Now we're in the near future. What are the messages we need to hear for our highest good for Scorpio? I want you to all write down below what you've been doing for your birthday. If you've already celebrated and for those of you whose birthday's coming up, tell me what your plans are. I want to hear from you, okay? Wow, Scorpio. Whew, wow, it's heating up here. <laughs> Earth, air, and water. Okay, so we have here the Six of Pentacles. This is about, you know, I'm either waiting for a payout or I'm waiting for an equal give and take here. I'm waiting for balance. Interesting, because we have the Six of Wands here. So we're going from the fives to the sixes. This is definite progress. And I know Scorpios, it's slow. It's painfully slow. But you know what? Anything that is this heavy when there's a tower moment is going to be slow. That's not going to happen in five minutes. That's just not reality. That's not real life. And it's hard for us to comprehend that because we usually do take the action very quickly when we want to, when we feel the need to. That's why I'm not feeling this is you, us, okay? This can be that somebody was giving to two. Again, the three of swords, the six of pentacles, possibly. Somebody was refusing... Um, your offer before or they weren't seeing it or they were focused on the past because we have somebody here that is realizing that it's time for their spiritual growth that they have to let go of a toxic or unhealthy situation it's somebody that's ready to take the action and it's somebody that's moving forward successfully so it can either be you moving away from a situation or somebody else is already in a connection 
and they're moving away from a marriage or commitment or relationship. So pick your side. But somebody's scared. They have a lot of fears and worries. Um, it's somebody that, you know, is, again, focusing on that past, knowing that they have a direction that they need to choose, knowing that in order for growth, for them to experience growth, that they need to move forward. But they're a little worried about how things will turn out. They're having a lot of anxiety over it. Um, and and maybe some guilt and that's why the universe is saying you need to allow yourself forgiveness if you're in a situation that's toxic you've tried and you've tried and it's not working it's time to move forward because focusing on the past on what's not working if you've been giving it your all and it hasn't worked then it's time to move on and it's like somebody's in this negative mindset okay and it's like it's not working where I am uh, you know, I'm refusing to kind of see anything outside this box here. I need to kind of unfold my arms and my legs and realize that the universe is offering me a blessing. You can see the blessing is being handed there. And this guy right here is is focused on these empty cups. It's like, that's not going to work. This is about discontentment. I'm bored. I'm unhappy. Um, I'm I'm focusing on everything that's going wrong. I'm not realizing that there's more out there. I'm not seeing this blessing from the universe. The universe is trying to wake you or somebody else up to realize that, that there is spiritual growth here. If only you would stop focusing on the negative and focus on the future. Okay. Um, I feel like the universe could also be saying with the six of pentacles, the six of wands, there is a balanced situation here. In the future if you would stop fearing it the universe is trying to hand you this balanced situation in order for you to experience joy again and get back to that if only you would realize that you just need that that equal give and take that balance okay that's what I'm seeing this can also be that somebody's waiting for an actual payout because it is Pentacles it could be that you or somebody you're close to is waiting for a payout a financial payout in it you know possibly in order to be able to move forward but we are going to clarify that in the extended let's get your person's energy what is going on for Scorpio's person of interest now or in the future? Whoever is coming towards Scorpio now or in the future? How do they feel about Scorpio? What are their intentions for November 2020? What are the messages we need to hear for our highest good? And then I'm going to pull a love compass message as well. In the extended, I'm going to pull the vintage deck. I will pull you one right now. And we're also going to get the mutual energies here in a moment. What is going on for Scorpio's person of interest? How do they feel about Scorpio? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? Now we're in the near future. How are they feeling about Scorpio? What do us Scorpios need to know for our highest good, please, spirits and angels? Oh, I need to take a deep breath. Whew, I always get tensed up. When I do our readings, for obvious reasons, the tower's there, the devil's there. It's like there's this is very, very tense, and somebody is like, they're in this fear-based mentality, you know? It's it's like, that's why I don't feel like it's you, Scorpio, because we really don't have a lot of fear. You know, we kind of plunge forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so again, I feel like, and this could be you, Scorpio. Again, like I was saying um, on on your side, is this could be you staying up, saying, you know, I want this equal give and take this balance, and they're not accepting my offer, they're refusing my offer, they're still focused on the past. That could be you, Scorpio, totally. And then here's your person here. Again, t flip it how you need. You can go vice versa, inter intermix, be all of yours or all of their energy, whoever is on your mind. This is about the challenges, okay? There could be interference here. There's five of wands. There's, as you can see, there's quite the struggle going on here. That can be actual competition uh, for your affections or their affections. Again, somebody could have already been in a marriage or commitment for some of you. It could have been you. Um, it can be that there are outside influences interfering. It can be that there's arguments or disagreements over an equal give and take in this relationship or their relationship if they're already in one of yours. Um, this chariot is here to say it's time to move forward. It's your rightful path. Somebody could be fighting over what the rightful path is. Like, I'm ready to move forward and take the action. And now, again, five of wands. Interesting. Five to the six of wands. So it's like 
you know, I'm winning this battle. Somebody's winning this battle. They're, they're, they're ready to move forward because they're ready to take the action is what I'm feeling because we've got the chariot here, the six of wands. Okay, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to take that action, but now I'm met with conflict. Nobody likes this action I want to take. Nobody likes it that I'm spiritually growing. Nobody likes it that I'm ready to move forward. Okay, so um, you have to ask yourself, you or your person, is it their business? Mm, maybe if it affects you, if it's your family, your friends, whatever, absolutely to a certain degree, but do they have the right to choose the path for you at the end of the day? Who is living that path? You or them? Again, I can't answer that for you. I know what I would say. I would say, yes, I will always take everybody's viewpoints into consideration, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that has to live with my choices. And it can be sometimes that there's jealousy involved or, you know, um, Maybe somebody, because we've got the, the, the devil card here, somebody is too dependent upon you financially, emotionally, or both, whatever the case may be, that happens, especially in long-term relationships. After a while, one becomes too dependent on the other, and then what happens is you become so codependent that love disappears, but you're you you know you're so used to them being there for you that it's like becomes more of a uh, expected rather than you know a, a, um, an appreciation you know, for your person's efforts. It happens, you know, um, I'm not saying that's what's happening. I'm just saying I'm putting up the different possibilities that are here. That's what happens. But the chariot's here either way to say there's opposing forces here. There's definitely some conflict. So whether that's jealousy, whether that's a codependent relationship, whether it's, uh, f you know, financial, become all financial in a relationship, whether it's competition because there's somebody else in the picture, whatever, it doesn't matter. The universe is here to say this is somebody's spiritual growth. They're meant to move forward. The chariot is all about rightful path. It could be involved with a cancer, um, but it's about going in this new direction and realizing this is what's right for me and nobody agreeing with it. Okay. And it's like somebody is ready to take the action now realizing it's going to cause heartbreak, but I know what I need to do. That's what I'm hearing. I know what I need to do now. And it will be successful because we've got the six of wands. So that's overcoming those challenges. Fives are all about the challenges. Six is about moving forward, starting to regain the balance again. Uh, the chariot is absolutely moving forward. I'm on my rightful path. I'm ready to get going here. And, you know, I need to forgive myself. I need to forgive others. I need to realize this is no longer working. This is somebody absolutely ready to take the action. Chariot. Now we're in the near future. This could play out six months from now. And I'm sorry, Scorpios. I know we don't want to hear that, but it's true. That's how things work. It doesn't happen overnight as much as we want it to. I know, really, I do. I'm a Scorpio. That's way too many cards. We are so not taking those. Why is a chariot here? I already know why it's here, but re-clarify the chariot, please, for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for November 2020. Please clarify the, the chariot for Scorpio. Woo! Look how that came out. You know what? I saw that in pre-shuffle. I totally did. There we are, Scorpio, our own reading. Okay, because I meant to end this toxic, challenging, unhelpful situation and move forward. This is about endings and new beginnings. And what's so interesting is we've got the tower here as well, right? So again, Scorpio, that's your energy. So this is about out with the old, in with the new. I'm ready to make this progress. I know where I'm supposed to go. I know I'm on my rightful path. I'm going, yes, there's going to be fights over it. Yes, there's going to be heartbreak over it. But where I am right now is too toxic. It's not working. And I know I need to go. I know I need to go. I'm going to transform myself. I'm listening to my spiritual guidance and growth here. And this is my transition. And nobody agrees with it, that I'm changing, that I'm ready for something new, that this is done. This is over with. It's not working. I've tried. I've tried. It's not working. I'm getting out of this challenging situation. I don't care who's in my way anymore because you know what? At the end of the day, um, I've done the best that I can and I need to forgive myself. Others are going to have to learn to forgive me too because I need to move on. This is not working. It's not healthy. Beautiful. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, Scorpio. Absolutely not. You know what you need to do. You or your person. I can see it. And look what's on top of the vintage deck right there. Wow, if that's not double clarification, I don't know what is. So you've got a new beginning, Scorpio. You're on your rightful path. Regardless, you're going to be successful with or without whomever you're thinking about, okay? Because you overcome challenges. Let's go ahead and get the mutual energy for Scorpio and whoever is on their hot mind now for November 2020. So in the extended, I'm going to pull more vintage 
more vintage cards as well. That's the 1970s and the 1960s cards. Okay, that's the Zolar deck. I'm going to pull the Psychic Tarot. I'm also going to pull the Ch uh, Kiro Marchetti, it's called. And if I get time, I'm also going to pull more of the other Psychic Tarot as well, because they are so awesome. We are going to dig. And I'm going to get the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Find out how you and your person are feeling about each other intimately now or in the future. And we're also going to pull the Twin Flame Oracle. Pick a card, okay? And if I also get time, I'm going to pull another Love Compass message for December, which, speaking of which, let's do that now. Wow, that was way fast, Scorpio. Wow, soul-to-soul -soul connection. Hello. You are manifesting a soul-to-soul -soul relationship. You are connecting to the soul of another. This could be the balancing of your masculine and feminine energy. You are connecting at a deeper level. So you may be spiritually connecting with somebody here, Scorpio. You could be. But right now, what I'm mostly seeing here right now is somebody ready to take a plunge forward and basically getting over the challenges and winning this. You're out, either you're winning over the competition or somebody else's. I don't care what it is. This is about moving toward your spiritual growth, happiness, and success here. And it's about your rightful path. You could actually be physically taking a journey somewhere. You were somebody else. But this is like, I am not happy where I am. This is not working out. I am not getting what I need here. And I'm ready to move on. It's somebody tired of sitting in this fear-based mentality is what I'm getting. So it can be that you've been waiting for somebody um, and you're ready to move on. Or somebody is in another situation and they're ready to move on. Okay, it can be the both of you. Let's find out what are the mutual energies between Scorpio and their person of interest for November 2020. What do we need to know for our highest good for November 2020? What are the messages? What are the messages? Wow. And that was right at the beginning of the reading. Scorpio, if you're staying up at night doing a lot of worrying and stressing, it's not going to do you any good. There is a new beginning coming. It's divine timing. The chariot here, the death card, that's all about rightful path and rightful timing. Especially with the tower, that's your card as well. Three cards here, Scorpio, 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 all over this, okay? So, you know, it's, it's you're transforming. Something's transforming here. Could be a relationship, could be your life, could be your overall purpose in life. This is about your spiritual growth, okay? So you're learning definitely something from this situation that possibly you're getting out of or somebody else is getting out of another situation. Ask your angels for guidance. That's what it says here. And I don't care what else it says. You are moving forward successfully here. It's all over this reading that there's a new beginning. We are going to dig so much deeper. Wow, they're jumping out. Wow. Okay, so you and your person are both having the same kind of fears or similar fears. Let's put it that way. We've got it here twice, nine of swords, nine of swords and the mutual, meaning that you could be worrying about jealousy. This could be that, you know, somebody's worried about you ending a relationship with them, fearing that there's competition. It could be, or vice versa. But with the six of wands here, you both need to realize that you're overcoming the competition. You're moving forward successfully, okay? Whatever that competition is for you. Family, friends, interference, distance, work. There's a soul-to-soul -soul connection here that is divinely guided because we've got the death card twice, the tower card, the chariot. This is all about transforming spiritual growth, moving forward, new path, rightful path, being divinely guided. A soul to soul connection is just that. You don't even have to be in the same room, but you can hear the same song from different parts of the world and be thinking about each other at the same time. And it's, it's a knowing, it's just a knowing. Wow, just as I pull, highly intuitive intuition. You intuitively know soul to soul that, you know, um, you both kind of are having the same kind of worries here. You know, is there somebody else? Um, is there competition? Is this ending? Are we moving forward? I want balance. I want equal give and take. What if they don't accept my love, my cup? What if they're not seeing it? You know, those kinds of things. We're going to dig so much deeper. This is definitely a different kind of reading. 
we are going to find out where this new beginning is going. I want to go ahead now, though, and I want to get a Psychic Tarot card because it's our birthday. What's going on for Scorpio? And we're going to dig so much deeper. We're going to do a sneak peek at December or for the general energy as well as uh, the mutual, etc. We are going to really see what we can find out here. This looks very different. What is going on for Scorpio, please, for November 2020? What are the advice and guidance messages for Scorpio? What do we need to know for our highest good, please? Angels and spirits for our birthday. What are the new messages? That was fast. Somebody's opening up their third eye. See, spiritual growth. Somebody is experiencing more spiritual growth here and realizing that they're meant to move forward and standing up for themselves. That's what I'm getting. Whether they're in this fear-based mentality, it's like, I know it's going to cause heartbreak, but I need to move forward. If there's others that are against me, I know that I need to ask my angels for help, get over my fears here and move forward because this is my rightful path. Somebody being divinely guided towards having and transforming their life here um, in order to regain balance and get out of a toxic situation. That's what I'm seeing. So let's find out where we're going to go from here, Scorpio. Uh, we're going to dig a lot deeper. And if I get time as well, I'm going to pull some of the Kipper Oracle. Okay. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. Happy birthday. And don't forget to leave me those messages down below. Smash that like button, as my girls like to say. Subscribe. That's a way of supporting our channel for free and allowing me to continue to keep bringing you these wonderful messages that we absolutely love hearing. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of future readings. I would love to see you on our Facebook page or Instagram. I'm mostly on Facebook because sometimes I put their quotes and different things that can help you, retrogrades, things like that that are happening. Um, with that being said, stay happy, healthy, and safe. Most of all, positive and have an amazing birthday. And uh, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on the continuation, the link is down below in the comment section as well as in the description area. Don't forget to use your correct email address and check your spam folder to make sure you get your correct link. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of your day, your week. Namaste.